Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Trials of Mana, the remake on K-Wing's Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more of that dancing fool arrives. And yeah. special shout-outs to our members, including our ultimates. Thanks so much. If you guys want to join the membership train, all you got to do is click this button here and select the tier that works for you. And lastly, thank you so much, Square Enix, for providing a copy of this game and sponsoring the series. Oh, yeah. With the plugs done, let's go. Oh, my gosh. Plug time. So we're in uh, beast. beast land. Beast city. Beast people. Beasties. And we found out that the Beastie Boys um, uh, <laughs> in this town um, friendly? actually, yeah, they're friendly. They're nice, yeah. Uh. Yeah, I didn't really know what the Beastie Boys were until I looked that up because apparently the Beagle Boys were like supposed to be like the Beastie Boys or whatever. Oh, from DuckTales? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more or less. Nope, oh, there we go. That's important. I guess they were like a band or something that just made really weird raps and stuff. They were like, the Beastie Boys were rapping, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, kind of. I, mean, I think they like smashed a lot of stuff. Like they were almost like trying to show how cool and like on the edge they were and stuff. I mean, I think they're still around now, but... I think they are. I don't know. I was watching this weird documentary on them on YouTube, but obviously I kind of forgot most of what I saw. Uh, it was like a three-minute documentary, so it was like not very long, but... <sighs> just watching too many documentaries on YouTube. That's okay. It's not like most of that stuff... Some of that stuff isn't completely accurate either, just because it's in the documentary doesn't mean it's completely true. That's true. But... Yeah, apparently, from what I remember about the Beastie Boys, they were actually all, like, friends from the same hometown or something, like, and they were surprised they got famous and stuff. It was interesting. I guess Sounds that's the story of almost every band, I guess. Oh, an old man. Whoops. Eh? I'm certain that beast men and humans can live in peace. He says that as a human comes and raids his house. Mm. Give me all your money, old man. No. This is probably where Mr. Beast lives, too. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so we need to head to the star point and that's, exit the town. That's why there's so many trees here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Being team so trees? Weird. Yeah. Actually, like, donate a couple trees there to team trees. But... Oh, you did? Yeah, just like a couple, though. I mean, I... Like, some people donate, like, every month or something. Wow. Wouldn't the constant nighttime get boring after a while? I suppose the atmosphere here is nice, though. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys want to donate to Team Trees, it's like a dollar a tree. Oh, wow. That's not bad. So if you donate, like, three dollars, you'll plant, like, three trees. That's awesome. And then you can either do it in somebody's name or you can put your name on there. See, back in the 90s and the 80s, if, like, uh, these companies that were cutting down trees, if they just would have planted new trees when they were done, um, things would have been a lot better. But they just ended up... They didn't want to take the extra time to just plant a couple trees. Yeah, I feel like people want to save money whatever cost they can. So even just a dollar to plant a seedling of a tree is too much for them. Because they're like, Dusk oh, wait, moon forest. I could earn that extra dollar. Aww. Little foxes. Dusk Moon Forest. Yo. I remember planting trees on like Earth Moonstone Day. Moonstone is definitely in this forest. I don't like it here. Are you sure this forest isn't haunted? I'll take beastmen over ghosts any day. Thank you. So if Angela is speaking, then Reese won't. If Reese oh, is speaking, yeah. Angela won't. I see. Okay. That's a little weird. Yeah, and the park district I used to go to, like, people would do this thing in our town where they would donate, like, I don't know, I don't think it was a dollar a tree, I think it was more like three dollars a tree for that, but it was like, whatever you got, like, you would, basically the same way that you, like, sell, like, candy and stuff for school and stuff, it was the same way where they try to get people in the town to donate trees and then... Come on. I remember actually, because I worked at the park district, actually having to physically plant the trees, but it really wasn't that hard because they were so small, like, mm. they were really little seedlings, so. Yep. So, uh, guys and gals, we don't know how many, um, episodes of the series is going to be, but it is every night at 6 o'clock, until we finish that, uh, and then our next, uh, Nintendo Switch, um, I guess you would say RPG is going to be Xenoblade. So that'll be fun. 
Yep. That will be fun. Because there's hardly anything Wait. coming out other than Shante. I and know. How are we supposed to get to the cactus? Well, cactus, you, you, you. Maybe we can go up that way and find, like, if we... Well, I have no idea. I hope you're right, because don't we get, like, a discount at the shops or something? Yeah, I think so. I'm sorry, puppies! Well, I mean, I have noticed a few people saying, like, well, what are you guys talking about? There's nothing coming out in May. There's Xenoblade, but it's like... But that's, like, the only thing. Usually there's about 15 or 20 game releases a month, guys and gals. Like, it's... We need, like, more than one thing coming out. Like, we're used to playing a lot of games. We cover about 10 or 12 new games a month. We're not like those channels that just play the same game over and over. Little cactus, yo, yo, yo. I'm little cactus, you found me. Oh. Uh, occasional 2x. Oh, boost. we get XP boost from this cactus. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. Okay. I was going to say, I knew we got something good. XP boost, boost, XP boost is good. That helps a lot. Um, there are some items in RPGs that usually help with that, so... Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, dear. Wow, Holy didn't do anything to it. That's weird. The fact that I can beat it up with my sword, that's just weird. Yeah. Because it's a ghost, yo. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh! Yay, powerful! Oh, wow, we haven't done training in a while. Okay, uh, let's go with... Mm. Yeah, we have not done training in a while. Six, seven, mm. eight. Aww. Well, next time, it looks like he has something called Healing Light. So that means he's able to use magic after all? What about Reese? Oh, wait, no, this is, um, so that's Thunderstorm. Holy bolts! Oof, that's gonna take a while. Elemental Combo. Damage increased by 5% when magic of the same element is used in succession. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what we should do. I guess, I mean, holy... Diamond shards for... Deals earth magic damage to the entire area. Earthquake sounds cool. Sounds pretty awesome. Hmm. I mean... I, mean, I think we want to do this route Victory for now. magic boosts when you have a victory, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't matter. 10, 11. I wish we had more points so we could get more stuff. Yeah, tell me about it. Alright, so know. we're gonna do that. And what about our girl here? So she has magic smash, protection. I mean... Oh, wow! Yeah! That looks pretty cool. She's got spells! Nice! Cool! Mm -hmm. I think Reese looks pretty happy about that. Oh, Reese is very, very happy. So she got magic smash. So intellect. And me. Strength, she's already maxed. So let's go here. Alright, okay. so that's everybody. Good job, team. Waiting. Allow me. Yeah, look at that. She's got magic. What? Oh, this is pretty crazy. Alright, so then we'll... Add some magic stuff. There we go. Awesome. So Reese can have magic. Very That's cool. Pretty cool. I didn't know that. Who would have thunk that? Looks like she has like uh, stats boost magic. Come oh, on. there's a beast man. Can we actually attack you? Oh, yep. Oh dear. Ah! Oh! Get away from me, freak! Oh my gosh! Back off, beastie! Oh yeah! Wow, you get some decent experience from these fools. Oh, never mind. I think I might have said this before, but it's, wasn't there a thing called Beast Warriors or something? Or Beast Warriors? I don't Beast know. Wars? Yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking. Beast Wars Transformers? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a 90s thing. I don't think... I don't know if I had that... I thought you said you had the toys for that or something like that. Uh, I thought I remember seeing the toys in stores, but you saw the toys in stores. But no, I didn't yeah. have those. I was, I was in. Mm, those were actually transformer toys. Yeah, they were animals that turned into transformers. Oh. Uh, so the story was the Maximals and the Predacons were descendants of the Autobots and the Decepticons. After the war, many many years later, 
uh, the Maximals, or whatever. Um, the Predacons did some pretty bad stuff, and they were chasing a criminal by the name of Megatron, who was trying to do some pretty bad stuff. They end up crash landing on Earth in prehistoric times while the Ark of the Transformers is still in hibernation. So they fight a war while the Transformers, like Optimus and, uh, you know, Megatron are still in stasis until they wake up in the 1980s. Oh, wow, so they fought a war far beyond before all that happened. Right, and... So was Grimlock a part of the Beast Wars or no? No. Okay, he came later. No, then. I can't even remember all the Beast Wars characters, but oh, wow. I never had any of the toys because I was like in fifth or fifth or sixth grade when that show came out. Maybe oh yeah, fourth. so you would have been older. Well, no, I mean I was. Uh, I mean, I probably think my parents would have been happy if I was still in the toys, but I was in the video games by the age of uh, probably six or seven. And video games, as you know, back in the day, they were pretty expensive, so... Um, but it also yeah. took a while to get good enough to beat the game, so... Mm -hmm. You would have, like, the same three or four games all year. Until Christmas time, and then oh, you'd get yeah. a couple new ones. Or your birthday. What was so nice about me, though, is Christmas and my birthday were relatively spaced out kind of evenly. So... Yeah, so you would... Like two months after Christmas. You right, so uh, I would usually I would get the new game releases that happened in the fall, so like Christmas time, and then if any games came out in January that were new, I'd get them for my birthday, so and you then get second Christmas, and then I would have like a couple months to like do either a newspaper route or some type of odd jobs where I could earn money, so that when spring came along, I could buy a game on N64, you know, Game Boy or something like that. That's pretty cute. So I learned the value of the dollar pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, because all the rest of that year you didn't have your birthday. Right. So I had, you know, and I would do little jobs, like all, everything I could. Um, mm. And then when I got older and I got like a an actual job that paid more than chores, I was like, whoa. So I would have a nasty habit sometimes <laughs> of like getting paid from wherever I worked and then going and to the game store and easily spending like almost half my paycheck. I think a lot of people have that problem. I mean, there's... I mean, I know some even girls in your family that like said like my age that basically said that they spent they actually not only just spent their whole paycheck on dresses but were in debt because of it. Mm -hmm. So at least you didn't at least you spent within your paycheck. That was good. I, mean, I tried to. Even if you saved some of your paycheck, that was better than a lot of people. But also, like how I told you, um, how I s had a lot of games to begin with when we moved away from uh, Berlin, New York. Uh, Mr. Pete gave me like a box of things because he was getting ready to change up his shop. Nobody was getting the Super Nintendo or NES games anymore because everybody wanted to play PlayStation or they wanted Sega Saturn or, you know, uh, yeah. the upcoming Nintendo mm -hmm. Ultimate or Nintendo 64 or whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. So he cleared out his inventory and I was his best customer, so he gave me, like, a bin oh, wow. full of Super Nintendo and NES games for, like, that's really awesome. nothing. Well, that's because you were so nice to Mr. I was his number one customer. I would, you know, I, I didn't, Blockbuster wasn't in that little town. You had a gas station. And you had a uh, laundromat slash game, like, rental, so, movie rental place. That was it. Before you lived there, you lived where? That New York, or...? I lived in Cape Back, Michigan, <clears throat> which I had my NES there. So um, did you like living in Michigan better? Than I don't remember it. That's where I broke my arms. <laughs> mm. I broke my arms at Aunt Debbie's. Uh, when, when we came to experience. New York and I, I missed it. How I got behind from school was I missed time off because of my arms. Yeah. So. I'm so sorry. And I couldn't even play video games the summer of 1990 because so like did, my, my hands looked like King Tut. What did you do? I, um, Grandma taped a bunch of shows on VHS because we didn't have cable. So my parents would put a tape in that would last for six hours and after I got done crying from being in pain, uh, I would watch Scooby-Doo or some other stuff. How 
How many months did you have your arm? All head? summer. So from May until like September. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Chart Moon Tower. This is gonna be beast people, yo. Actually, I did pretty good. We got out of there pretty quick. Because people say I'm bad at reading the map, but I think I did pretty good. <laughs> well, I just I just started going crazy with that one day with uh -oh. the sand. I was talking about all kinds of weird stuff. Whoa. <laughs> you had no chance of defeating me! <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. <sighs> oh, don't bother with those pesky Altamans. I'll take care of this mess. Ludger, please do return to the palace. He's like the king of the beast people. Yum, I guess yum. So. What a veritable feast of souls for me today. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he's going to take their souls. Oh, <laughs> delicious, uh. delicious. I'd love to gobble them both up. But like a I suppose gesture. I must send one off to the masked mage. Our stores have run low, after all. We need many more souls to perform the forbidden magic if we intend to open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Thanks for saying that out loud. You just disclosed your entire plan, yo. <laughs> <laughs> let my master know that I'm taking my own share of the spoils. Oh, uh -oh. If it isn't the no good prince of Herolia, have you returned home so soon? Lies! You lied! Said I could bring Carl back to life! <laughs> Fool! You are the one who fell for the falsehood! Such an innocent soul. You must taste sublime. Oh my oh, god. I'm so glad I turned that wolf pup Carl against you. Um watch out, Prince. Uh-oh. Oh no, the Prince of the Beastmen ah. is ah. Can't move! Kevin is another <laughs> playable character. I think oh, you'll be my midnight snack. Shall I finish you off? Just like your friend Carl. <laughs> what? Carl with a K? Uh, What's finish going on you up in one go. Stop! Not so fast. Yeah. <sighs> Have you no manners? Can you not see you're interrupting my meal? Wait! I'll take care of them. Dude, the prince is right. Oh, he's I here. thought I saw that half. Beastman traitor Kevin in the forest. I am not letting him get away from me! What? That's the prince. First, I'll get rid of this filth. You can help me warm up for the main events. Wait, there's gonna be a dinner theater? <laughs> Lovely! Be my guest. Dude, that's the prince. <laughs> Super Saiyan? Whoa! Alright, this dude is toast. I hope. Oh, he's turning into a beast. Hey, I've been waiting for a chance to fight you. Consider this payback to throw me in prison back in jail. I don't like that. Try this. One, two. Okay, that didn't do anything. Good job. Uh, except for it hardly did anything. Yeah, look at his health. Yeah. All right, you know what? Come on, Duran. Let's try magic. Let's see how it does with fire. Oh! Fireball. Did nothing. Holy. Did nothing. Oh my gosh. That's not cool, dude. Come on, Angela! 
Ice actually. Ice hurt. Not really. Lightning. Did lightning hurt him? Mm. Oh gosh. Ooh. Yeah, lightning hurts. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. Oh, she's out. Oh dear. Uh. Oh, we got tons of this. We're fine. Come on, Angela. Alright, let's go with... Our friends are hurt. So Angela's gonna kind of act as a little healer. Don't worry, Duran, we got you. Thunder! Oh, no. Mm. Looks like Angela's our MVP right now. Seems to be. Oh, dear. Come on, Angela. Get him! Well done. Take him down! Oh, you didn't like that, did you? That's right. Big love potion bomb. Alright, so we're gonna keep this up. Thunderstorm! Yeah, he's getting his butt kicked now. Thunder does a... Oh, wait, what? Why is he healing? Oh, nuts. Mm. Those little walnut thingies come in hand. Oh, shoot. You just had to die on us, didn't you, Reese? Come on, Angela. Mm. Angela's fun. Yeah, she has weird sound effects. And a burst that. Ooh! Oh, so if he hits us, he regains some of his health. Okay. Come on, Angela. You punker. Oh my Try gosh. this. You guys are getting him down. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Whoa, that took a, a bunch more than normal. Yeah, I'm out of magic, though. Well, I mean, I, I could use more, but we'll just... Oh. Oh, Reese. Oh, snap. Oh, no, Reese. Okay. Oh, wow, that didn't. Oh, guys. She died? Um, yeah, Angela died. And now Duran died. Guys, stop dying. Just beat this fool. Don't you die on me. Almost there. We got him. It was hard to tell if we got him, but he's dead. Yeah. Now he's probably gonna run away. Woohoo! Oh, that's hard. Yeah. That's not really that much experience at all. That's kind of lame. We're somewhat experienced. Yay. You lose. <laughs> Just you wait. <sighs> Ludger? <clears throat> Kevin, I always hated you. Born a prince and specially trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat by the king himself since you were young. Ludger? He's dying, dude. We killed him. I wanted the king to teach me what he taught you so badly. I loathed you and your good fortune. In the end, I was just another beast guard. Nothing more, no matter how hard I wished. Mm. But you, you hated fighting. All that talent wasted. I, I couldn't forgive that. You had everything I wanted and you didn't even care. I wasn't going to lose to such a worthless prince. And yet... You lose. Ludger. You are strong. Strong enough to be king. The same as me. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. 
just keep getting stronger. Maybe in my next life, I'll be able to defeat you. <laughs> Don't you dare lose before then. Sadness. He wiped out several cities, huh? Oh. oh. Yeah, that's right, he did. I forgot. You're Luna! The elemental of the moon! Right? Yes. I've been waiting for your arrival. I will grant you my power. Okay. Well, that was... Looks like she has a little, like, pacifier in her mouth. Luna! Help Ludger! Please, help! I'm afraid all I can do is grant his final wish. What was his final wish? That he would have another life? He's been reborn. The only way to save him is to give him another chance in his next life. He will now be reincarnated. What? Baby... Is Ludger? Yes. He will grow big and strong. And one day, come to challenge you again. Okay. Baby Ludger. I'll wait. <laughs> Challenge me any time. Did that just happen? This is actually happening. Oh. Wow. Um, is he going to be okay in the forest all alone? He's just a baby. Oh. Babies are raised in the wild. The forest creatures take care of them. Uh, until they are grown. He thinks. Don't worry. He, he is safe. It is the beast man way. Incredible. Where is the mana She's stone, like, wow, Luna? You guys are so manly. The moonstone is on the first floor of this tower. Mages from Altaina came to try and activate its power, but Ludger and his guards managed to protect it. It's still inactive! Hmm. But that weirdo Gormon from before is in the tower now. We should go after him. Oops. Just in case. Sorry. I will stay nearby, in the forest. Keep other beastmen away from here. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, so you now have access to Luna's powers. You can use the moon element magic by putting training points toward abilities. So you get moon energy, make allies' weapons absorb HP. Can you eat moon cakes? So, wait, where is someone... Where's revival magic? I haven't seen any revival magic yet, at all. I don't. Other no. than, you know, just a couple wishes That and would be stuff very like that. useful. You think so. Oh wait, we, awesome we leveled up, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright, so... Uh, oh! Never mind, there's stealing magic right there! Wait, you're saying... Yeah, I'm, Duran I'm is saying Duran is the healer! But isn't he the sword guy? I know, right? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, why not, I guess? Uh... Mm kind of confused about that. Usually the sword guy is not the healer. Yeah, I I gather that. Usually That's, it's the sorcerer uh, or something. It is. It's usually the magician. No. That's why we put a sorcerer in our party, isn't it? Because we wanted healing. Yeah. But it's like, oh, I guess we didn't need that at all. Duran is here. Oops. Oh, that just well, happened. Well, it's okay. I mean, Angela has other good stuff she does. Okay. Like she has that little jump she does. Come on. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah. Thanks. That one? That's why we have Angela in our party, just for that. Oh, we're at the Mana Stone again. Yeah, but we're, we're not, not a level, level 38. 38. Blast. 
Why? You guys have no so idea how annoying that is. to see the moonstone just sitting here in the middle of a tower. It's a trap! Oh. I'm pretty sure this stone is the reason why it's always night in the surrounding forest. Boy, mana stones sure cause a lot of trouble. <laughs> Not sure I'd want to live my life in the dark like this. Oh, hey. What happened to that weird clown from before? Maybe he went back in his clown car. That man was pure evil. I felt it. But I don't feel anything right now. He must have left. Convenient. I would be able to tell if he was still nearby. So, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get this straight. That Gormond guy, Belladonna from Navarro, and the Crimson Wizard from Altena are all after the Sword of Mana? They're all Money? heading to the sanctuary? What? Well, we've come this far. And, uh, I'd like to see that crimson wizard try and get past me now. You don't have the mana sword, hmm. idiot. Uh... We still have to look for Dryad, the wood elemental. The hero king suggested we ask the elfin elder. So, we should go to the hidden elf kingdom of Dior. It's in Lamp Bloom Woods. Mm, I like... I feel like the fairy should be on the thumbnail. The fairy on so the I mean, of course, we'll probably put the beast man on. Put a beast man, yeah. Yeah. But the fairy looks so cute in that little picture right there. The little cactus. No, no, That's no. Too. You found a little cactus. Yes, you did. You're going a long well. Uh, can't. One more. Find anything to wrong with uh. what we did? Uh. I mean, it feels like there's going to be more to this place. I mean, it's just kind of like... Oh, wait, there's a door. I hope that we can come back to these mana stones leveled up. The door is shut. The way is shut. Can't open the door. Hmm. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be back. Oh, whatever. Well, that did it for the moon forest. That seemed, uh... I mean, anticlimactic is becoming like a normal word now. Yeah, it's just like... Well, I mean, I thought that was a pretty dramatic story. Well, it was, but I mean, we really didn't get to know Ludger all that well. I mean, he attacked those villages. We were um, just kind of watching a... I guess it would be interesting to have the beast a Prince Kevin in our party at some point. Me. But maybe next time. I don't think it's enough to replay the game, though. Me neither. Still fun though. I think we picked pretty good characters. Mm. Now the joy of making it back to where we were supposed to be. Yay! Oh, oh wait, there's a save point. Yay. Where where did you see it? Well, if we keep going the same direction, there's like ah. a, it's on the map. Yep, there, there it is. There it is. Yay! Dang. Save time. Alright, so this is actually a pretty good grinding spot, so I'm gonna save uh, right here. And here. There we go. Because I want to oh, come back okay. here. So this you can is, go back. Yeah, this is a good save, like, um, grinding place. So on save file 4 we can... And the man stone is, like, right there, so... Oh, yeah, you don't like lightning. Beast fools. Yeah. So if you're wondering why we talk about grinding and stuff like that, in order to increase our next uh, class level, we have to be level 38. Yeah, and we haven't been to level 38. Cause... No. Bye, Beast Wolf. I keep wanting to grind in the... I meant to grind some in the morning today, but I didn't. I was going to do some last night when I was uh, today, editing. Today, I, I am glad, though, that that little bag... I was able to put Zelda in, in the little restraint thing. I should do her claws. So I was able to finally trim uh, Zelda's claws today when I'm usually afraid of her. Um, and she was pretty good. You did pretty well with that. Hmm. Yeah, I put her in the little... I had to wrap her up in a little towel to get her in that little bag thing. And then you just clip her... Once she has the little, like, clip around, like, her, like, front neck area, then you can zip the rest of her up pretty well, and then you just poke her little paws out. 
can clip her paws pretty well. Mm. I mean, clip her nails. But I'm always very careful clipping her nails because I don't want to clip the little red line on her nails. Yeah. But vets don't seem to care about that. Like, I've seen my vet hurt my cat before, and it's like, I want to make sure I, I'm not, I don't hurt my cat. Because the vet isn't the cat's mommy. I am. So <laughs> Kitty needs to trust me. Because I love Zelda. I know you do. We have earned a rest. You'd think we'd earn a rest, but... Wait, little cack... Oh, he was up there. We going the right way? I think we are. I can't tell. Um, well, the star says we're supposed to be going back. We're... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I, this way. Yeah. Look! And then I think, like, right. over here. Like... Er... Yeah, that's forward, basically. Forward! Oh, she used her stuff. Little puppies. And boom. How do you guys like Thunderbolt? To feel good? That's my favorite spell. Because, I mean, it does so much damage. Yeah. Hey! Don't go beating up uh, our wizard, thank you very much. We have earned a rest. Thank you very much. Beep. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Made it out. Awesome. I know. Pretty exciting. Okay. Well, I mean, this is not the Beast Kingdom, though. I would like to find where the Beast Kingdom is at. Uh, pretty cool. Wait, how much money did we earn? That place, you earned a lot of money. Wait, that... this isn't a Beast Kingdom? I thought- No, 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 this is just a town, like... Um, I'd like to know where that dude is king. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he's a prince right now, but... I don't know, that's a good question, Luke. Alright, time for the magic flute. And that means more reggae guy. It says you can only use this a certain number of times, but I have a feeling you could probably use it endlessly. Hmm, probably. I'm not... I mean, I haven't tried to use it, and it has never said to me, Oh... You can't use it now. Turtle! It's weird that this turtle has, like, feathers on his cheeks. Mm-hmm. 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 We're back on the turtle. <laughs> His Majesty mentioned lamp blue uh -huh. woods. Let's get going. <laughs> we found nearly all the elementals. As long as I get the mana sword before my mother, she'll see that I'm worthy. <sighs> you will not save your mother, yeah. Yaman. I feel like Angela's pretty delusional about her mom, but I feel like <laughs> unless you break the spell in which makes Angela's mom hate her and want to kill her, then there's no way Angela's going to be able to get through to her mom. It's very sad, though. I have a feeling that the king and her mom, like, used to be a thing. Like, did you see how, like, um, concerned the king was? Oh, wow. He also said, I remember this, he was like, wait, she had a daughter? So... Oh! What if they were boyfriend and girlfriend back in the day? Yeah, I don't know. Lamp Bloom Woods! I have no idea, Luke. Oh, these are pretty woods. Beautiful. They're pink. Okay. Yay, we made it to another island. We did. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for today's episode of Trials of Man. A little bit shorter today, but we did the entire Beast Man Woods thing. So yeah. let us know what you thought about that episode in the comment section below. Join us next time as we do Lamp Bloom Woods. Stay tuned later tonight for an awesome live stream on something on K-Wings Let's Plays. And we hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Special shout-outs again to our members. If you guys want to join the membership crew, all you got to do is select uh, this tier. All you got to do is click here and select the tier that works best for you. Awesome. And uh, thanks again to Square Enix for providing a copy of this game. We love it. And we hope you guys are enjoying it, too. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!